the deadline for orders on them and s Christmas food to order site is Friday, 5 p.m. Don't miss out and shop its biggest ever collection, from the ultimate canapes for your festive party to fantastic turkey centerpieces or veggie and vegan dishes for the main event. Christmas is coming and the goose is getting very fat, or at least the turkey test daily and I are hungrily eyeing certainly is. I'm ensconced in a delicious smelling, cozy kitchen with strictly calm dancing and children in need star, Tess, ready to talk about her traditional family Christmas at home in Buckinghamshire with presenter husband Vernon Kay, and their two girls Phoebe and Amber over a veritable feast of sumptuous M&S Christmas food. I'm hosting this year. Tess announces, last year we were in New Zealand, my sister lives there dash and it was a barbecue outdoors, which was obviously so different, but I feel like we had all the build up and then missed out a bit on the turkey. Christmas dinner is my favorite meal of the entire year, so this year 1M going all out. We've been eyeing all together on Christmas Day, with plenty more dropping in for Christmas Eve and Boxing Day and I'll be doing all the cooking. Does she enjoy cooking, then? She's so spotlessly elegant that quite frankly it's difficult to imagine her harassed, slaving over a hot stove. Well no, during the week. It's probably not my favorite thing. As a busy working mum, when I get home it's hard to enjoy it on a school night when you've got one eye on the homework. But when I've got the luxury of time, like on Sundays, I love it. Christmas Day so what's the plan on the big day? The children still get excited about Santa, which is lovely, so the girls will be up at 6 o'clock but at least it's better than 5 a.m. like it used to be. The first thing they do is go and see if Santa's footprint is on the fireplace and if the carrot's gone. Then it's presents time whilst Grandma makes the tea. We'll try and make the kids pace themselves with presents, but they're usually done by breakfast. It'll be pancakes and blueberries for them and box fizz, smoked salmon and scrambled eggs for us. In fact, this will be nice with a test gestures to the M&S Clementine and Cranberry Bucks fizz we're currently sipping it's a gorgeous color and smells like sherbet, like sweets. Very festive. There's no white wine in here at all, is there? There is, it's 4% ABV, I tell her. Well, this tastes just like fizzy pop. In a good way. I'm already on first name terms with the ladies in my M&S food, we have a catch up about their grandchildren. The food is so brilliant, that's the reason I'm here today. She jokes. But seriously, I always shop in M&S food at Christmas, they have the most wonderful variety of delicious nibbles and treats. And I'm definitely getting some of this the collection beetroot and vodka spay bay oak smoked salmon, 20 pounds, look how thinly sliced it is, delish, and so pretty. I always marinate mine in loads of lemon but here you wouldn't even need to. The beetroot gives it a lovely sweetness. P.S. This one's great as you can serve it on its own as a delicious and elegant starter or with scrambled eggs and a glass of Buck's Fizz at breakfast. Later, my mum and mother-in-law will help prep the veg, we like lots of it. I'll be doing roast parsnips and honey carrots. I do them in Himalayan salt and loads of lemon which gives them a real flavor pop. We'll have to have peas as Amber my youngest is obsessed with peas, she just asks for bowls of them when she's hungry. Sprouts, too, we love but somehow we only have them about three times a year, I'm obsessed with them with chestnuts. 
I'll also do my special broccoli, well actually it's sauteleyes, just blanched and then tossed together in a wok with butter, lime, chili and some toasted almonds sprinkled on top. I'm already planning mashed and roast potatoes, so my father-in-law will be mashing the spuds whilst I do my roasties the Jamie Oliver way by parboiling them, giving them a good bash in the colander and straight in the oven in a pre-warmed dish with lashings of fat, it will be goose fat for Christmas, of course, and that makes for really crispy roast potatoes. Homemade gravy is always something I hope to do. But when it comes down to it on the day it's so hectic that I always have a backup of M&S turkey gravy in the fridge and to be honest I mostly end up using that, it's lovely. Oh, hello, what are these? We're being served M&S the collection ricotta stacks with mushrooms, leeks and kale, 7 pounds for 2. That looks really good. It's pretty, isn't it? Three out of my nine Christmas guests are veggies, so I'd serve this as a starter. Or, do you know, it's actually quite substantial with the creamy ricotta so it would be a good meat-free option for a main too. There's some lovely mushrooms, and there's leeks in there too and I love a leek and cheesy sauce. A gloriously steaming bowl of M&S truffle cauliflower cheese has arrived too. Now you're talking. Tess exclaims. Cauliflower cheese and truffle are two of my favorite things so this will be the dish of the day for me. It smells amazing. And so luxurious. Ooh, and the crispy bits are just the best. At 2 p.m. we'll sit down at the table. I always dress it the night before. I love a beautiful table. This year's theme is steel, silver and pearl, so it'll be a real winter wonderland look, festive but also a bit of bling. You need to have that at Christmas. I'll also make a centerpiece with the girls the night before, a kind of garland with baubles and foliage all sprayed silver. We're quite crafty at Christmas, she laughs. Starters will be melon for the kids and prawn cocktail for us, although these could be a contender. We're munching on the collection for hot seafood medley appetizers, 25 pounds. They're a very indulgent combination of king prawns, Scottish lochmere salmon, scallops, garlic and herb butter, and semi-dried tomatoes and Tess is a fan. I love the way they're presented in the scallop shell and all you have to do is pop them in the oven but it looks like you've worked really hard. They're lovely with the hot garlic butter. And what about the main event? Will Tess be serving up a turkey feast for the family? Oh yes, we'll have turkey, but actually the turkey is Vernon's domain, he loves it. He bastes it with butter every 30 minutes. Wraps it all in bacon and even has a special stand thing he cooks it on. I'll carve it though, as I like the meat wafer thin. Our turkey is emerging from the oven to excited gasps. It's an M&S The Collection Oakham turkey with pork, chestnut, bacon and thyme stuffing, maple bacon and maple glaze and we're all agreed, it looks fabulous. That's the perfect color, a deep burnished bronze. And it's so crisp, succulent and juicy. Tess enthuses, I can't wait until Christmas for turkey. My daughter gets invited to a Thanksgiving dinner every year as she has an American friend. I need to find one too. Tess has spotted the puddings out of the corner of her eye and is excited. Pudding. My favorite course. I have such a sweet tooth. And oh god, I've just thought, brandy sauce. I mean, you've got to be traditional haven't you? Last year one didn't know what to do, 
because we were going to New Zealand and I couldn't even take some in my suitcase and there's no chance of getting it out there. This year one and I'll definitely be having it. Brandy butter, too. I've got this process with mince pies, where I lift the lid off, pop a teaspoon of brandy butter in and microwave it for 40 seconds. It's delicious. It's worth remembering that this year 1000 and S's 6 snowflake mince pies have been voted the best mince pies on the high street, I tell her, as they've won the witch. Good Food and Olive magazine taste tests thanks to their deep-filled blend of vine fruits and brandy. MMMM. Now though, we're trying M&S's show-stoppingly beautiful The Collection White Chocolate Snowball Wreath Dessert. 20 pounds, you might have seen it on the TV ads, which is a shimmering, lustered white chocolate Belgian mousse patisserie inspired cake, filled with raspberry compotes on a delicate filatine base. Wouldn't this make a lovely centerpiece? Tess exclaims. I have put this on a beautiful glass stand. The raspberry tastes divine against the sweet white chocolate. What is this though? Look at it. What's this called? It's the M&S Santa stuck in the chimney cake, 20 pounds. We're presented with a frankly enormous 1.2 kilograms iced cake with solid chocolate walls, encasing a center of deep filled black and red velvet sponge with a Santa disappearing into the center. I'm getting this. Oh. My. God. It's proper chocolate slabs. It's completely covered in this thick milk chocolate, well, I won't have to fight the children for it. It's actually got a double chocolate layer, ooh it's red velvet. This is really good. It's not too rich because the sponge is light and the buttercream is good, but for me the piece the resistance is when you get a bit of solid chocolate wall. I'm in heaven. Without a doubt I'm having one of these on my Christmas table. That chocolate is so delicious. We're not finished yet though, the M&S The Collection Melting Belgian Chocolate and Toffee Sponge Pudding is making an entrance. At £12 for a 562 grand serving for four, this is possibly the most impressive looking pud yet, involving a stunning chocolate dome that disappears to reveal a chocolate sponge dessert below. Tess agrees. This looks divine. What a centerpiece for dessert. Melting toffee sauce and the melting Belgian chocolate. I think this would convert anyone to desserts, it's so rich but light and not heavy or cloying somehow. Sweet, there's Boxing Day pudding sorted, that will make everybody happy. With full tummies, talk moves on. This year's Strictly Christmas special is a good one. We're off to the palace tomorrow to film. The Duchess of Cornwall is president of the National Osteoporosis Society and she's hosting a charity tea dance, so the Christmas Strictly stars will all be dancing, we're very excited. I'll make sushi for my Christmas buffet with my kids using this M&S twice smoked spay oak smoked salmon, 10 pounds for 300 grams. If you pre-boil some sushi rice, get some nora sheets it will be fabulous. Look how beautifully sliced it is, think about sushi chefs and how they train for years to slice fish like this, it just melts. The flavor is delicious with a real subtle smoke flavor. It would also be delish on bagels with just a smear of cream cheese and some tomato and onion. Yes please. We'll be needing some pastry too, I'm very happy with pastry. It's my northern roots. We suggest they take a look at this magnificent M&S The Collection Beef and Bone Marrow Pie straight off the M&S TV ad at £20 for 1.2 grams. The good housekeeping cookery team listed it as their star buy, after all and bone marrow has been a massive trend this year with celeb chefs like Tom Carriage and the Hawksmer restaurant championing the rich, unctuous flavor. 
there will be squabbles over these baubles, let me tell you. Tess is spooning a slice of M&S the collection smoked salmon terrine with baubles, 12 pounds, 420 grams, onto a cracker. It's a luxurious terrine of Lochmuir salmon, wrapped in smoked salmon and topped with creamy, jewel-toned salmon mousse baubles. It's a winner as you could have it as a starter with whole wheat toast squares or for your evening buffet. All this would need is a little bit of rocket on the side. And what about cheese? A wedge of M&S truffled gouda is produced. Oh I love truffle. Truffled brie is normally my favorite, I really, really love cheese. I get so much pleasure from good cheese. Everybody needs to have a slice of this. I lived in Paris for five years when I was modeling and I'd go to the Fromagerie a lot. Having beautiful cheese with fresh baguette, just dreamy. And if you'd like to offer your guests a selection of cheese, M&S has plenty of ready-made cheese boards too, such as the British Cheese Lovers Selection, 15 pounds. This includes a Stratford Blue, Medium Cornish Cove, Berlin Bloom, Double Gloucester, Chestnut Chutney and Rye and Wheat Biscuits. Or why not try the In a Pear Cheese, 5 pounds. 250 grams. Here a whole red wine poached pear is surrounded by a delicious white Stilton cheese that has been blended with a spiced pear chutney, festive and fun. Party time we'll cheers to that. The deadline for orders on them and s Christmas food to order site is Friday, 5 p.m. Don't miss out and shop its biggest ever collection. From the ultimate canapes for your festive party to fantastic turkey centerpieces or veggie and vegan dishes for the main event. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.